wondering how homeopathy works. How can these little, tiny little pellets be so indicated for such unique symptoms? How does this work? Well, to answer the question, I'm going to explain it in two folds. The first part of how homeopathy works is that it stimulates the own, your own healing response in your body. So there's not a necessary mechanism of action. We don't know there's like a biochemical pathway that it's being triggered. All it does, it stimulates your own healing response. So for example, what does this mean, healing response? Anyone gets a cut, okay? Simple cut. Your skin breaks. Your, your body knows exactly how to heal. Brings the skin together and your body heals. Same with a common cold. You're sick for a few days, your body knows how to heal itself and before you know it, you're, you're well. Now at times though, you can get sick enough where the body is trying its best to, to compensate and to heal, but at times it needs a little bit of a stimulus to help it heal through that process. And that's what homeopathy does. When you get the correct stimulus to help with the healing process, then you're on your way to getting better. Now a second part of this, you may be asking, well, how does this little stimulus, this little natural substance, help with the healing process? Well, in homeopathy, there's a law called the law of similars, and that is like cures like. Essentially, simply put, it means that the substance that can cause symptoms is the same substance that can cause cure. Now this could be kind of confusing, it was definitely confusing to me at first, so better me give you an example instead of just give you some of these um, coffee. Let's start with the example of coffee. Everyone knows coffee really well. Now coffee, taken in large amounts, is what people want for high energy, for um, wakefulness, for good alertness and such. Now when given in homeopathic doses, which is small amounts of coffee, it's actually indicated for those exact same symptoms of restlessness, wakefulness, um, too much energy, especially at night when someone's trying to go to bed. So homeopathic coffee is indicated for insomnia, whereas when you take it in large doses, it's going to produce those same effects. Now, another example is the common food onion. We all know when we dice an onion, our eyes water, our nose runs. Well, in small doses of onion called Allium sepa, homeopathically, it's actually indicated for colds that cause runny, runny eyes, lacrimation, and no nasal discharge that's a little bit acrid, and it cures them of their cold. So this is just an example of that law of similars I was saying, like cures like, and this is how the body is stimulated to heal. Now, you may be thinking, how can such small doses of a substance have an effect on the human body? Well, it's a really good question. I had the same question before when I was learning about homeopathy. So to clarify, I like to think about um, vaccine shots. We know vaccine shots are organisms that cause an, a reaction in the body, and when diluted, very, very small, minute doses, when exposed to the body, we know that it helps prevent future infections. Now, take allergy shots. Allergy shots are somewhat similar as well. When we figure out what the allergen is that the patient is sensitive to, we dilute it, we introduce that into the body, and then we know that they are able to overcome their allergens much better. These are just two examples of how we use this all the time in conventional medicine, and this is an example of how these small doses can really have a powerful effect on our human body and stimulate the healing response. Mm -hmm.